Well, my question is, I recently have a inheritance of about $100,000 in a traditional IRA or an inherited IRA. My question is, what should be my policy on taking that money out and transitioning it out of the IRA? Uh, I am early in my career. I have no plan in changing jobs. Does it make more sense to hold on to that money in the event that I change jobs and, and drop income brackets from a tax standpoint? Does it make more sense to move that money out now or potentially during any recession we have moving forward? Um, we'd love to hear your thoughts and kind of get a framework on on how to manage it. Thanks so much. Okay. It used to be with these stretch IRAs that you could stretch withdrawals from this IRA over the rest of your life. You can't do that anymore. The IRS says you got to have the money out within 10 years. So your options are to take all the money out now, take all the money out in 10 years, or take the money out in some manner over those 10 years. Uh, but in your case, you're in the highest bracket. You don't need the money. It doesn't sound like you're making a, a gob ton of money. Um, you're clearly saving a significant portion of that. So this is not money you need to spend. It doesn't sound like you're planning to give it away. Um, although if you give a bunch of money to charity, you know, giving it out of an IRA is usually not a bad way to do it. Um, but the bottom line here is maybe you'll be in a lower tax bracket in 10 years. Probably you'll still be in the top tax bracket. So you might as well enjoy 10 years of tax protected growth before you take the money out. That's what I do. I just leave it in there for the next 10 years, take it all out after 10 years and, uh, you know, invest it in taxable or whatever you want to do with it. Spend it at that point. I don't know what your life's going to have. Uh, going on at that point. Um, but if this were me, that money is sitting in that IRA for the next 10 years. Now, for other people that aren't in the top tax bracket, that may not be the plan. For example, let's say you're in the, uh, you know, let's, you're in the 24% tax bracket and you want to get all this money out of there. And maybe it'd have to be more than a hundred thousand. Let's say you inherited a half million dollar traditional IRA. Maybe you take that money out over years seven, eight, nine, and 10. So you divide it into four and you take it out over those four years so that you can take it all out in the 24% tax bracket. You know, that might be a smart plan for you. But in the case of this surgical specialist who's uh, in the top tax bracket now and expects to be for the foreseeable future, uh, leaving it in there for the whole 10 years and then taking it all out at once and paying the taxes on it is probably the right move. You're going to be paying 37% on it whenever you take it out. So you might as well maximize uh, the asset protection, maximize the tax protected growth, and go from there. If you want your questions answered by the White Coat Investor, record your question at whitecoatinvestor.com slash YQA, or click the link in the description. The hosts of the White Coat Investor podcast are not licensed accountants, attorneys, or financial advisors. This podcast is free entertainment and information only. It should not be considered professional or personalized financial advice. You should consult the appropriate professional for specific advice relating to your situation.